everybody. Welcome to Wednesday Live Coffee Talk. I'm Michelle Kui. I am a confidence and leadership coach. And today I have something very special for you. I know it's a holiday, so hopefully you're all enjoying the holiday. And maybe some of you are actually um, getting ready to um, take holiday off. So thank you so much for joining me this morning because I have a very special episode. Um, so earlier in November, I was connecting with a friend of mine and she had told me about this amazing cause that was happening in Uganda. So she and I connected and then we were we were talking and she shared a um, nonprofit organization and it was a, it's a children's, uh, God's Wells Children's Foundation. And when she introduced me to, to it, I started to read more about it. And then I came across Semba, who is my guest today. So let me just give you a little introduction about Samba. So Samba is a 23 year old Ugandan with a vision. He is the founder of God's Wells Children's Foundation and God's Wells Children's Foundation is a community-based nonprofit charity organization in Kabaremado, Uganda. I, I know I brutally killed the, killed the uh, village's name, so I'm going to ask my guests to correct me later. God's World Children Foundation, it is a charity organization that helps to provide education, food, medita uh, medication, Bible study, counseling accommodation, and makes outreach in fighting for various diseases like waterborne, typhoid, malaria among children in Africa, Uganda. Due to the large number of orphans in Uganda, after early 1979s, AIDS outbreak, the 2012 epidemic Ebola that left many suffering, many had lost their hope of school and resorting to early marriages among girls and drug abuse among boys. So Samba founded the God's World Children Foundation and earlier uh, in th during the Thanksgiving period, they had a fundraising that was going on to get children's mattress. And if you had visited the God's World Children Foundation website, it's at facebook.com slash children charity foundation. You can follow a lot of the progress of what's going on in Uganda under God's World Children Foundation. So they started this campaign of being the secret center to give the children at God's World Children Foundation by making contribution to buy those mattresses for the children. And I will link the charity uh, website at the comment uh, down below so that if you want to make a contribution throughout the show, you can please welcome to do so. Now, I wanted to um, just kind of give you a heads up the uh, when I when I spoke to Samba, he was really concerned about the electricity in Uganda. Um, when it's dark, it gets really dark. And this is something that we all take for granted. Um, you know, when he talked about electricity, I wasn't aware that that was a thing. So <laughs> the technology is not at its best. But you know, this is why we're here so that we can help each other across the whole globe. So without further ado, I want to bring Samba onto the screen. Um, there's a little technical difficulty with the microphone. You can hear the background um, as we speak. So Samba, welcome. Welcome to the show. Thank you. How are you doing? Mike? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Thank you so much for coming. I know it's getting darker and you were telling me about the electricity problem in your village. So tell us yeah, where like you are. I'm in Uganda as a country. You, are you hearing me? Yes. I'm in Uganda as a country. And uh, when, like, then uh, in, in Uganda, I'm in uh, Kabirimado district. Then uh, after Kabirimado district, we are in Abedi village. Were you, were you born there? Yes, I was born there. You were born. And how old are you? I'm 23 now. 23 now. Yeah, I, I, I know I know when we first connected, I think you were just celebrating your birthday, right? 
yeah, it was some two weeks ago on the 4th of December. Yeah. So, you know, um, I'm really interested to know what makes you wanted to fund the foundation. Like, how did you get started? Okay, like it was, a, it came as a, 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 actually a long journey. Uh, it started a long time, it started a long time when I was still young. I loved it when I, we had challenges as, a, me, as, me, as me as a person. Eh? So I was finding it hard to find basic needs, finding uh, schooling, finding uh, hope. So it was just friends to hold me out. So like for me, I was, like that's how I made it at least to go to school. That's when I went to school and I finished my I finished my psychiatry course. I'm actually I'm a psychiatrist. I'm a psychiatrist. So I finished it last year. So when I actually it was through friends hope as in the hand to hope me. So when I finished my course, I was like, what should I do? Actually, that idea came long way, long way in 2016. That's when I graduated in six. That's high school. So I just finished my senior six, that was 2015. So in my vacation, as I was I was waiting for Women's University, that is uh, 2016, March 16th. That's when I came up with the idea of forming the two. What what was it like to start a foundation in Uganda? And and I know you had talked about you know ha uh, having the uh, ability to go to school. Is is education something very common? For people, yeah, actually, yeah, actually, as you know, education is uh, sort of that important. So, like when someone who attends education, at least has some high way to go. So, I attended education, but it was through hope. It was friends who could help me. It was like because me, I didn't have enough. Though my, I was a single mother, and my mother couldn't have enough, so could, she could go to digging, collecting things. That's how she she, she used to collect some amount. So that's when I, I attended school. So does it cost a lot of money to go to go to school? Yeah, actually it costs a lot of money. Mm -hmm. school, school is expensive in Uganda. Yeah, school is, school is expensive. So when I finished school, that was uh, around uh, 2015, high school. That's when I came up with the idea of coming to school. So, so how many children are you currently helping at the organization? At, 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 at the moment, I have 50 children. How many? 50. 50? 50, yeah. OK. Yeah, I have 50 children. And, and do they live at the school, or do they go home? How does that work? Actually, they, they stay around like the orphanage. And they, for about school, they go to school. It's around uh, eight kilometers from home to school. That means 16 kilometers from, that's going and coming back. Like in average, they, yeah, they, they walk to school. They walk eight kilometers. Eight kilometers, yeah, to and from, that's 16 kilometers a day. They, they walk 16 kilometers a day yeah, to go to school. Yeah, yes. So my, my, my challenge here comes uh, like, in, in, in like in average, there's no school. So if, uh, if, if, if one day I come up to form a school and start up a school, that would be something great. Wow. OK, uh, I, I had to do. So I'm really curious about how much is that converting to miles, right? So I just did a really quick search. Um, so 18 kilometer, that's equivalent to 11 miles every yes. day to go to school. And, and how often does the children go to school? In a, year, in a year, we have three terms. For, for first, we take our syllabus in three terms. So each, each term goes for three months. So in like from January, then we go up to April. Then from May, we go up to September. From, from September, we go up to December. So that's how we divide our school in Uganda. We divide it in three, in, in three terms just. So we go to school three months, then we rest one month home. Then they go to school another three months, they rest one month home. That's how it is. And, and these are all orphanage, right? So they, they either lost their parents, their, their mom or dad. So who takes care of them uh, during the days? Uh, at 
at the place we have, uh, I have some relatives, okay, like elders, eh? the elders, like 10 of them actually, they will stay around with us. And um, is it all uh, volunteer based? Yeah, it's just volunteering. They volunteer to stay and care, care for them. Yeah, and, and others, they're just single mothers, uh, they're just vulnerable. So for them, they stay at home with their mother, single mothers. But when there's some occasion, as in their, their gift sharing, they come and convert. That's how it is. Yeah. So, so you, you got your education. You graduated with a psychologist, psychology degree. Psychiatry. Psychiatry. So here yeah. you are, you're founding the foundation because you had that passion to help others in the village. And, and yeah. very well, specifically, to orphanage yes actually like orphanage or like orphans and vulnerable and elders actually three categories eh? uh -huh. we have orphans vulnerables and, and elders those who can't even they find it hard to find the best community so who, that's like who are the vulnerables vulnerables are these people who don't find it good, like, okay, they can't find that amount to find their basic needs. Actually, they lack basic needs. They, they have had to work, but there's no work. Mm -hmm. Those who are lame, as in the, actually, that, that type of people who are lame, deaf, who are blind, who are one-handed, those who are getting clinical diseases like sickle cells, like sort of that. Yeah, those are also. Mm -hmm. and, and sickle cell is very painful right because as, as the, when you have the flare episode episodic flare of the sickle cell it's actually very painful and there's a lot it requires a lot of medical attention how easy yeah. it is to get the medical attention actually here we have one child with sickle cell she she's called uh she's like she, like we have one child with sickle cell and uh, we, we, actually, it's a, it's a bit of a challenge because uh, we find it hard to get medication as in our income is less, as in that's how it is. But uh, perhaps sometimes it gets pain in joints when it's cold because it gets pain in joints. And that. Right. But, uh, but at times we go to the hospital, then they give him some painkillers. But painkillers can't work on specialists that, that much. So. But the best, the, 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 the big problem is we lack enough support. We lack enough support. So if we had enough, enough support, maybe she could be taking good medication to mm -hmm. overcome this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and so you have the orphanage, you have the vulnerable, and what's the last category? And these elder people, like elderly, old people. Old, old, old people. Elderly, okay. And so how many people are in your village? Like just where you live that you're helping? Just 50, actually 60. 60? 50 children, 50 children, then 10 is we who are like volunteering to help and the older. So it's a lot of people that you're helping. How do you do it all? What gets you? What gets you wake up in the morning and say, you know, this is something that I want to do, and here you are, you're doing it. Like, what gets you do that? Uh, actually, as as a person, you come up with ideas. So mm -hmm. after coming after coming with the idea, you ask, how are you going to fulfill it, and come up with a goal. Many times, I I create some projects. So we go for farming, we go for rearing. We go for brick making because that's some of it, like the projects we get some income from, and, and and maybe online donations. That's how we get some donations from, like like income to generate as in to help us. So that's mainly the three categories. Four actually four ways we, we find the income: mm -hmm. Pro projects and maybe online donations. Mm -hmm. And and it, I'm sure I'm sure it takes a lot of work because um, I think one of the most heartwarming and touching video that I saw was you were, um, I think that during the fundraising uh, campaign, there was video shot about how, where the children were sleeping on. Um, so what gave you the idea of wanting to, how, how many mattresses were you able to um, fundraise? 
Actually, that has come up. Actually, you don't sleep on five hours months. This much, it's hard actually, mostly on the ground. Yeah? So, I, I, I asked Madam Lee. I asked Madam Lee to help us to fundraise a mattress. That's when I asked her. So she, she also told Madam Belinda. So they came up with a with a GoFundMe campaign to help him fundraise the mattresses. And that's still going on. That's it. So after the, the campaign is through, we can buy the mattresses and, and give up to the children. Yeah, that was the way we, we, we hoped this year could end, giving a child a mattress. So fun. What what else do the children need? Children actually they need some clean water mainly clean water. We lack clean water. That's it. Because we we fetch our water in swamps, ponds where even animals will be there, even reptiles can be there. So it is dangerous to collect water from swamps. Because you can be going to collect water, then you find a reptile. It it grabs you. So that's a major problem. Water. And uh, maybe ex expanding more projects for income, mm -hmm. and, and uh, maybe school materials, school materials like books, uniforms, bags, shoes, and as well as uh, clothes, playing toys, and maybe empowering girls, mainly girls, because like in the village, girls, you know, they get married earlier. Some mm -hmm. of them are just first in marriage, so empowering girls that can come as a uh, creating some skills about teaching them basic skills like tearing, like, like even uh, sewing. So th those are some of the things I, I, I would wish to come up with in the future. Mm -hmm. And maybe even a school, come up with a school and a medical center because we lack a lot in our environment. Yeah. I, I think for people who are watching this and people who are viewing this, um, maybe it's a replay later. Um, I, I love how you you say when I asked, you know, what do the children need? The first thing that you came up with um, clean water. And I think clean water is something that a lot of people don't realize. Oh, you know, clean water. I can just turn on the faucet and right there is clean water. No, for countries like Uganda or in a lot of um, underdeveloped country, clean water is not something that's very accessible. Children have to walk 11 miles to go to school. Children have to go miles and miles to collect water so that they can bring it home. And a lot of time these water are not clean, they're dirty, they're, they need to be filtered. And, and the filter system is not the best. So they end up drinking water that's been contaminated and that's how they get a lot of parasites and, and parasitic related disease from drinking those water. So water is something that all of us take for granted. Electricity is something we take for granted. And then it comes toys, you know, we have toys, we have gifts, we have education supplies, we have all these school supplies that we just have them laying around in the house that we don't, we don't really need. But when you give it to the children who are in these countries who will cherish them, I've been to places where children are using the pen or the pencil to the very last little tiny bit, because that could be their only supply of pen or pencil just to write. Yes, um, exactly. So I know what it feels like. I know what it looks like. I know what it is. So those of you who are watching, I would encourage you just go ahead and click the link down below to contribute however that you would like or just reach out to them. If you like to send school supply, please do. You can get in contact with Semba so that you can um, mail school supply directly to the school and, and be in contact with him. Um, so I will have that link down below. So Semba, what's Christmas, yes. like? what's Christmas like in your village? Christmas, actually Christmas is the day when Jesus was born. So everyone knows that. So everyone is actually anxious. So is waiting for the day that's to after tomorrow. So everyone is, is willing to put on a new cloth. Everyone is willing to go for church. Everyone is willing to at least have that fun. So at least like also at God's will, we're going to try as much as possible. We we'll create some good meal, create some good entertainment. 
mm. for the children for the children to celebrate that's how christmas is going to be what kind of uh, entertainment do you plan on uh, giving <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I, my, 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 my plan was bigger than what I, I have right now, because I, I thought I, I, I hope to hire a, a Christmas Santa to come and entertain my children, but I'm, I've, I've run short of money, so I, so I can't hire one. So mm -hmm. I'm going to just watch, I'm, I'm going to just show them my movie. How much would you need to hire a Santa? A Santa, it could be like $200. 200 Yes. So, but right now I'm I've, I've run short of it. So, I'll show them just a movie. I'll and and how much, movie. how much, um, how much time do you need to hire a Santa? Yeah, he yeah, just come for like four hours. Four hours enough for him to 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 to, 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 to give out sweets, celebrate with kids, sing with with the kids. Then for him he goes because he can be booked on on many places. That's it. So. So they can come for four hours, then it goes to, to another place. So with $200, you can hire a Santa for four hours and yes. the Santa will be able to pass out some candies and they will be able to uh, give out some, some goodies to the children. Exactly, that is it. I, I know I've never done this before, but I, I am going to personally contribute to $200 so that you can hire a Santa. Thank you so much, Michelle. <laughs> Thank you so much. That would be, it's such a good gift for sure. Yeah, I, so I, I, so I guess... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to donate that $200 to you so that you can hire Santa and that Santa will be able to pass out. Now, I want pictures, all right? <laughs> right. <laughs> I, I, will send them. I, will send, I will send them exactly. After the, the occasion, I'll, I'll actually videos and, and photos, I'll send them. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think it's a minimum that we can do. Um, and there is no minimum, right? So whatever that we can, we can comfortably contribute and whether it's um, to the school supply or um, just maybe writing a letter to the children and just say, hey, Merry Christmas. Yeah, actually, yeah you can write a letter to children or you can mail the, the toys because we, we have a post address, which is mm -hmm. three. Seven six four two Kampala, Uganda. Okay. So, I what what I will do is I will get the address from you and I will post it uh, in the comments so that people can write a letter to to children or send toys, um, anything that they would like to do um, to to send it directly to the to the organization. That's something great. It's fine. Yeah. I, I know it's getting really dark outside <laughs> and uh, I don't want you to lose your power. If okay. you have one wish, what would that uh, wish be? My wish would be having many children, getting a good future through my hands. Oh, like as I have some hand in, in their future, that's it. That would be my wish. And so you take volunteer, right? Yeah, like, okay, my wish is, eh? my wish is having men children in Uganda, Bed Village, going to have a good future, a great future through my hands, or as, at least I, when I have some hand in it, that would be my great wish. It's a, it's a beautiful wish. And I know your wish will come true. And and if yes. you like, I, I would like to volunteer um, to come to your school and teach children or meet these amazing children. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Actually, you're just most welcome to volunteer with us. Yeah. Anytime, in, anytime you just welcome to Uganda. <laughs> At any time, you can come and volunteer with us. Perfect. Yeah, true. You can, you can come and volunteer. Yes, I love to. And, uh, and, and if there's anyone who would wish to volunteer to, he or she is welcome. Thank you. Uh, so one thing that everyone should know is that ever since I got connected with Samba, he's been sending me every morning, he, he will send me, good morning, lady. Good morning, Michelle. And he's very, very, very passionate 
young individual who really put his heart out to to accomplish a lot of different things. And and I, so today, you know, I wanted to invite him to the show because I feel this is something that really aligned to what I believe in. And it also, it's a good cause. It's something that will impact someone else, um, a younger generation. So hopefully, you know, this is something that you've been enjoying watching. Um, so Samba, before I let you go, any, yes. any last messages that you would like to share with people, with the people who's watching this? Okay, I thank everyone who's watching us. And uh, with good pleasure, I'm so thankful for everyone who has logged in to at least have a, some few minutes with sharing with us. So I call upon everyone to share, take the heart, and uh, volunteer with us, sharing what he or she has small to someone who doesn't have. And uh, maybe with everything, God will provide. And uh, I, I urge everyone and even pray for the whole world, this community. I pray for everyone who is being tortured with coronavirus. And uh, may the good Lord help us overcome it. And I pray for more scientists to come up with the virus, actually. That's the main prayer. Because now, now virus come virus, because even there's no way some people fear to fly to Uganda. They fear to come volunteer with, with us in Uganda because of coronavirus. So that the main prayer is getting the, the vaccine for the virus. And I pray, I pray for you all to get willing and all. I wish you the Merry Christmas Day. And the New Year 2021 come. Thank you, Samba. Thank you. And, and you, you know, I think, yes, you know, we, we got to protect the children in the village, we got to protect the people in the village. And, and so when people do um, come and volunteer or to visit, you know, ev everyone needs to be safe and hopefully moving forward, um, our wish would come true. And yeah. again, for those of you who are watching, you know, I, I had shared the link down below to make any contribution that you like or just send a letter to outreach to Semba and so that you can coordinate whatever that you feel comfortable in contributing. Um, and hopefully you enjoy watching the show. So Merry you, Christmas, I have, everyone. I have one one more one more last stuff. Eh? I'm calling up everyone who's watching who'd wish to join me being becoming a co-founder becoming a donor, becoming a volunteer, I'm ready to welcome everyone. And so that we find our goal come true. That's it. Thank you so much for coming. And thank you. Right. Thank you for what you do. All right, and thank you so much. Happy holiday, Merry Christmas. And I will be in touch with the $200 to the center, right. to hire the center. <laughs> thank you so much. OK. Well, All right. Merry Christmas and Happy Holiday, everyone. And join me again next week for a special end of the year uh, live coffee talk show. And thank you for watching. And don't forget, contribute to whatever the organization that resonate with your heart. And this particular one resonated with mine. So hopefully it will, you will find something that's meaningful this year to give and not to take things for granted. And I will see everyone next week.